Hey YouTubies. Okay, so I'm gonna do this video. Um, I'm almost caught up on my monthly updates of pregnancy to where eventually my videos will start to go from week to week. Um, so right now, why my boobies look like they're sagging? I know they're huge, but god dang. Okay, so this is gonna be my test progression video. Um, I got a couple of videos that I'm gonna be uploading, so you're gonna see this top, this hairdo, this face a couple of times right now. So just bear with me, but. We're going to go ahead and go through my test review video, um, progression lines. So I found out that I was pregnant um, back in August. Um, initially what happened was my family had a, a family reunion um, July 30th, 31st, and 2nd. And um, I remember going to the reunion and then I just remember getting really, really sick after the reunion. I mean, like I had fevers and chills. I thought I had like the flu or something so bad to where I just was, I couldn't get out of bed. I was hot, cold, just really, really upset, like feeling really, really bad. Ultimately where I went to the hospital, I don't normally don't go to the hospital because I don't believe in doctors like that. Like I feel like they always give you something that messes you up even more. So I try to stay away from the hospitals and doctors and things like that, but I was feeling really, really bad, and I know I had to go to work, so I was trying to go and at least get medicine or either get a work off work notice or whatever the case may be, but ultimately ended up going to the hospital emergency room later that night and um, sat in the emergency room all night. Long story short, they, you know, gave me a chest x-ray because my oxygen levels were low. Um, Took a urine sample they never collected it never tested it for pregnancy none of those things like that so i ended up keeping the the urine sample um this was on the 4th of august i ended up keeping the urine sample and then um went on home on the 6th was still sick um then realized like hey my predicted period was to start august 10th um i use ovia fertility i used Ovia fertility and so it would give me a prediction date and it predicted that my AF was supposed to start on the 10th the thing with that is that my AF would always start a week somewhere between five to seven days before that predicted date so if it predicted on the 10th I should have started somewhere between the third and the fifth or so forth okay so but I was so sick during this period that I just I it did it was lost upon me that I had not that I had, AF had not started and then by the time I realized I was like okay well maybe it's just that my hormones and stuff are off um and it's just late because I'm stressed and I'm sick or whatever and I'm just off balance. So on the 6th I went to work. I ended up going to work because I did feel a little bit better. So I ended up going to work then I was like geez today is the 6th and I had cramping and twinges. I remember I had back aches, like really bad sharp back ache pains. I had twinges and you know like left side pains were like my side was hurting on my left side and I just remember thinking like man um I still had like some congestion and stuff and I was just like I'm just really really sick but then I was like well hey I realized AF had not started so I was like oh I'm gonna go and buy um some little cheapy tests from the dollar store just to test just to be sure and like I said I still had urine from the fourth so I did two tests on that day I took um I dipped the urine from the fourth with one test and then I dipped the current days the sixth with one test so this is the test that I dipped on the 4th. And as you can see, it is a negative. And I mean, and even now looking back, it's still a negative. So I was right on that one. And then, of course, two days later, like on this one, now that I know I'm pregnant, I think I see a faint line. But obviously, you can see why I thought, okay, no, nope, it's negative. Nope, I'm not pregnant, but I do see the faint line now. But I'm just not one to really be reading into lines. Like if it's not an actual clear, yeah, positive, then I'm like, nah, you're not pregnant or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm not pregnant. So, you know, AF will probably start. So then I woke up on the morning of the 10th and just expected as soon as I stood up out of bed, like normally that AF would come as soon as I stood up because that's normally how AF is. I normally wake up on day. I normally wake up with AF. Like as soon as I stand up, then I'll feel it drop like literally so when I woke up that morning I was like wait nothing's happening and then I got dressed and I went to work and the whole day I was just like I can't just believe that I've made it to 14 DPO like I've never made it to 14 DPO so much so that I had been meaning I'm sorry I have eczema so bad it came back it was here in the beginning of my pregnancy and then now it's back again um but so much so to where um 
I always wanted to start tracking my cycle and doing blogs of just how to get to know my body and those type of things of ovulation and, and that type of stuff. Um, because I do understand that it is a difficult process um, for someone who was not taught this or did not learn this normally to learn how to track your body. So I always wanted to start learning. So I planned as soon as I had an actual psych 28 day cycle that I would go ahead and begin to start tracking it. So I was just shocked and amazed. Like, oh, I made it to 14 DPO. So I made a vlog video that morning saying, oh, um, I've been wanting to document this. If you've seen my video, um, I think it's on my 14 DPO video. If you've seen that, that was the vlog video that I made. Like, I can't believe that I made it to 14 DPO. Blah, 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 blah. And then towards the end of the video, I got into the whole, I wonder if I could be pregnant. I guess I could be pregnant. You know, whatever the case may be. And then got to work that day and... It just ate at me, ate at me. I was like, oh, okay, I need to go home and test. So I did come home. I went and stopped and got another little dollar store test. And on 14 DPO, which was 810, I tested and got this, which is obviously a positive. You can see the dates there, 810, and it's 14 DPO. And there is the little second line there, right there. So then I was like, oh, God, I'm freaking pregnant. So I ran to the store and bought the... Um, First response, I bought this pack here. The first response with the digital and the regular one. The two, the pink line and the digital. Um, I bought that. And I took it that night. This was like at like 9.30 at night. And I got a positive. And so that's when I knew that I was pregnant. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is just like so crazy to me. And then I was in denial still like, okay, I can't believe, I can't believe I'm pregnant. I can't believe I'm pregnant. So the following morning I woke up and was like, oh, okay, I'm going to take another one. Um, I'm going to take the digital one and I'm going to put it in a bag and surprise the boyfriend that we're pregnant um, with the digital one that says pregnant. But unfortunately, this one was a defective test, so it never actually even worked. It just gave me a question mark from the beginning. I ultimately um, contacted First Response and they actually gave me back my money. So... If you ever have a defective test, feel free to contact them because they will give you back a portion, partial, or either the full refund. Um, but you'll see the video of in telling the boyfriend that we're pregnant, which will be going up soon, um, on this particular day, the 12th. Like I said, I waited a couple days to tell him, but then at the same time, um, I wanted to do something kind of nice for him. But at the same time, like we, we went out, we had drinks and stuff like that. So I couldn't hold it any more than the two days because I was like, he's going to wonder why I'm not drinking, why I'm not smoking a cigarette, taking a cigarette break and stuff with him, you know, those type of things. So I ultimately had to tell him. So we did a live pregnancy test video, which um, I did with the digitals with the clear blue box, which looks like this one. In case anyone's wondering or want to know, I used this one here and we I did two. These were taken on the 12th. Um, I was four weeks and one day on the 12th. So when I initially found out I was pregnant, I was three weeks and six days on the 10th here. On this one. Three weeks and six days. So technically I hadn't missed my period yet, but I had missed my period because I was on a 29, 29 to a 30 day cycle. But um, we did the live test on this one. This one turned... I dipped this one first and then set it down and then went to dip this one for 20 seconds. And before I could finish even get halfway through dipping this one, this one had already turned positive. Sorry it looks yucky because it's old, obviously. Um, and then this one, I waited and I waited and then it obviously said pregnant. And then it obviously said um, two plus weeks, I think is what it said. No, it said three plus weeks. And so I, I was like, what the heck does that mean? Does that mean that I'm three weeks? Or no, it said two plus weeks. And I was like, okay, am I only two weeks pregnant? Or am I four weeks pregnant? As it says, but then yeah, of course, it doesn't count the ovulation. So that was my confirmation that we were pregnant. Those are my, um, those are pretty much the test progression lines. Of course, the digital is no longer working. But that's pretty much how I found out pregnant. I was pregnant the few tests that I did take. Don't be fooled, because I am a test maniac. And I have... <laughs> Just to, you know, just in denial, don't judge my life, but out of denial, I also had these because I bought a whole pack. Just, you know, I've, I've seen a false positive before. So to ease my own mind, I did test like quite often just to make sure that I was still pregnant. Um, I will show you guys the test progression date. Um, these are just the same ones and just some of the dates that I wrote on here. Like this one right here was four weeks and two days. So I took this little dollar store test just to make sure I was still pregnant. That was on the 13th. On the 14th, I took another one 
just to make sure I was still pregnant and I was on the 16th I took another one just to make sure I was still pregnant and I was and then on the 18th I took another one just to make sure I was still pregnant and I was and then on the 20th at five weeks and two days I took another one just to make sure that I was still pregnant and of course I was and so that kind of concluded my little Oh, and then on the 23rd at five weeks and five days, almost six weeks, I took another one just to make sure that, yes, I was still pregnant. The pregnancy was still viable. All of those wonderful good things. And ta-da, I'm still pregnant. So, of course, I went through the crazy phase. And by that point, I just gave up. Like, okay, this baby's obviously going to be a sticky bean, so I might as well stop driving myself crazy. So that's pretty much how I tracked my pregnancy, found that I was pregnancy, tested on pregnancy. Within a span of six days and four days, I tested and I got two negatives for the six days out and the four days out. And then four days later, I got the clearest positive on a first response test ever. Um, changed my life. This one even here, this one turned positive within like 10 seconds. I mean, literally, I dropped the urine in there and then I went to set the timer on my phone. And as I was setting the timer, I could just see the line going across and it was positive already. So within a matter of four days, I knew I was, I mean, in a matter of 10 seconds, I knew I was pregnant. And that's how I found out so early with pretty dark lines early on. So even with me testing every day, basically, to make sure I was still pregnant, I still was pregnant. So that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I did want to show you, I had a following ultrasound the following week um, at six weeks and five days. And this was my little baby bean. That was my bean. Da -da. And according to Ramsey's theory, you know, I'm in a Facebook group on Facebook. And um, for people who are doing April, and I'm due April 20th, by the way, but um, people who are doing April, and so we were doing the Ramsey's Theory, and on my Ramsey's Theory, a lot of people predicted that I was having a baby boy. And so that made me excited for the pregnancy even more early on because I have three girls and I definitely, definitely wanted a boy. And so this actually got me into researching the different ways of trying to predict gender through Ramsey Theory, um, second trimester, um... Ramsey theory, the nub theory, as well as the skull theory. So that pretty much, you know, was a little fun game for me to play. So here we go. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. See you guys later.